woman is dying in the hospital bed, but her husband was out flirting with Nanny. Soon the woman died. At her funeral, Nanny showed a strange smile, but this scene was seen by the woman's son. And the father, while comforting the two sons, openly took Nanny to live with him in his home. This aroused strong resentment from the two sons. Even the family dog didn't like him, so Stephen started to fight against Nanny in every way, but in order to feed in with the family. Nanny didn't choose to take Stephen seriously. In order to get closer to Stephen, Nanny offered to help him with the dog, and this made Stephen gradually let down his guard. But that day, the dog was accidentally hit by a car and died. Nanny explained the cause and effect with an innocent face, and apologized to Stephen with tears in her eyes. But instead of forgiving her, Stephen felt that Nanny had killed the dog on purpose. Just like she killed her own mother, the father immediately began to calm Stephen down. But then a sharp pain shot through Stephen's stomach. The pain was so severe that he fell to his knees. His father immediately rushed Stephen to the hospital. But after a series of tests by the doctor, Stephen's body did not have any problems. At once, his father thought Stephen was faking it because since their mother passed away, Stephen's personality has changed drastically. At this moment, his father was most worried about Stephen's mental problems. After his father said that, Stephen also thought that there might be something wrong with him because he could always hear someone talking in his ear. When he got home, Stephen went online to look up the problem. Suddenly, something came from downstairs. Stephen came out of his room and found Nanny talking to his father about himself. His father wanted to send Stephen to a nurse and home, but Nanny advised him not to because she was afraid it would hurt Stephen's pride. Seeing Nanny defending him so well, Stephen's opinion of her changed subtly. Time came to the next day. Nanny pushed open the door with a hearty breakfast. Stephen coyly apologized to Nanny, and Nanny said she didn't take yesterday's incident seriously at all. Their relationship will be eased. But then Stephen looked at the oatmeal in his hand. He became suspicious of Nanny again. The boy suspected that Nanny had poisoned the porridge, so he poured the porridge into his stationary box and turned around to say he was going to school. At that moment, Nanny noticed that Stephen's bed was leaking some kind of liquid. She wanted to wipe it up for Stephen, but Stephen turned her down with a nervous look on his face. Stephen found a friend who suspected that Nanny was poisoning him, so Stephen wanted his friend to help him find a lab to test the porridge, but his friend thought Stephen's suspicion was ridiculous. After all, everyone in the school knows that Stephen's mother just died, so he has some suspicions in his heart. It's not like the friend doesn't understand. Seeing that his friend didn't believe him, Stephen started to become furious. He shoved the porridge box into his friend's arms, but the box fell to the ground. Seeing the evidence he had collected scattered all over the place, Stephen became even more furious. He thought that if Nanny had poisoned the box in a very small dose, it would be undetectable. There was a similar case in the town, so Stephen needed to get a full serving of porridge to test. By the time dinner came around, everyone was eating heartily, but Stephen hadn't touched a single bite. In response to his father's questioning, Stephen offered to switch with him. Although his father didn't understand, he switched with him, but this caused Nanny's displeasure because everyone's meal was carefully prepared by her. Seeing Nanny's strong reaction, Stephen was even more convinced of his own suspicions. He immediately switched the food back. Then Stephen grabbed a plastic bag and put all the food in it and claimed that Nanny was poisoning him. The father rushed to stop him, but he was pushed away by Stephen. Then Stephen grabbed a kitchen knife. Nanny called the police. Seeing his son's madness, his father patiently persuaded him, but now Stephen has had enough of Nanny's behavior. So tonight, Stephen vowed to end it all with Nanny. The boy grabbed a sharp knife and stabbed Nanny in the waist. But before Stephen could continue his attack, the police rushed in at the first opportunity. Stephen was arrested, and Nanny got her life back. In prison, Stephen told the police that he suspected Nanny of giving him poison. But after police tests, all the food that night was safe, and the police didn't find any poison in their house. But despite this, Stephen still stubbornly believed that Nanny was trying to kill him, and even his mother's death must have something to do with Nanny, because she had been responsible for his mother's medication. And Stephen had witnessed Nanny laughing secretly at his mother's funeral. But conjecture without evidence is not admissible in court. So there are only two options for Stephen. Either he gets a psychiatric evaluation and stays in a psychiatric hospital, or plead guilty to attempted murder and go to jail for six years. Stephen was out of his mind at the moment. He decided to give up the chance of not going to jail. He was afraid that Nanny would use some trick to make him die in the institution. But then Stephen's brother came in. He urged Stephen to get a psychiatric evaluation because the brother understood that his mother's sudden death had hit Stephen hard. He and his father always believed that Stephen would never intentionally hurt anyone, so they hoped that Stephen would come back to them after he was cured. It was because of these two short words that Stephen was shaken. In the end, he chose to be put in a nursing home. Until six months later, Nanny came to visit Stephen. He was very puzzled. He was usually visited by his father and brother, 
After Nanny's explanation, Stephen realized that his father had married Nanny. But there was bad news, that his father died accidentally on his honeymoon. Stephen was devastated, then he asked to see his brother. But Nanny flatly refused. He hasn't been feeling well. Stomach pains. 